Don't go away. We got uh, Gra- uh, George Lang coming out of Westchester, trustee, to tell us all about uh, what is this a boondog or not a boondoggle? Uh, what is a bike trail? Public works project? Is it a shovel ready project? Don't go away. We'll talk to him right after these brief words. <laughs> 7.40, 55KRCD Talk Station. Happy Thursday to you. Brian Thomas here. Welcoming to the program, uh, Westchester Trustee George Lang. Good to have you on today, George. Thanks, Brian. It's a beautiful day up here in Westchester, Ohio. Always beautiful in Westchester, isn't it? <laughs> it always is. Home of uh, John Boehner. You guys were uh, arguing over and considering a brand new bike trail involving some federal money. And up until yesterday, my understanding is you were the only one who was against the project. Tell me why. Well, for me, um, this is not a core competency of our government. It's a luxury item. Our core competencies are providing emergency services, police, fire, and emergency medical uh, technical assistance, and then roads and stormwater maintenance. Everything else that we do is an extravagance or a luxury. And for us to go and get a federal grant from the federal government in order to build something that we do not need, to me, is shameful and immoral. Brian, we're talking at a time when the federal government is borrowing over 40 cents of every dollar that they spend, and we're going to take some of that money for a luxury item and saddle our children and our grandchildren with these taxes. To me, it's it's shameful and immoral that we considered it. George, I I, I echo everything you said. I'm going to underscore it, put it in bold, put an explanation point behind it. I, exclamation point! I wish I I talked to more politicians, more people that have that basic understanding. It is morally irresponsible to further in debt our country. And you're right; there are limits to government on every level. How, George? How come more people don't just get it like you get it? Well, I, I don't know, but, but on the broad picture, we are over-governed, over-regulated, over-taxed, and we are overburdened. You know, people look at Westchester and they say, we are a model for economic growth. We have flourished and prospered from an economic development perspective. And Brian, it's not because we're better, smarter, smarter, or faster than any other community around us. It's for one simple reason only. Businesses can come to Westchester and make more money. And their businesses are in business for only one reason, to make the maximum amount of profit that the market, not the government, but the market will allow. And since we have a lower tax base and in general a kinder, friendlier zoning department, a business can come here and more readily flourish and prosper than going to another community. And when you're looking for a reason to locate your business, especially in these tough economic times, you're going to go to the place where you can maximize your profit. I, and, and oddly enough, George, Westchester is booming. There are a ton of businesses up there. It is a model, and all without a bike trail. No, that's correct. correct. <laughs> Can you, t- you should, I wish you lived in downtown Cincinnati and ran for council, George. Well, see, Brian, this is what most local government people don't understand. They don't consider the law of unintended consequences. So they look at how things are right now today. Man, we're rocking and rolling. We got money rolling in. Businesses are coming in. People are relocating here. And so they start building infrastructure. They build bike paths, parks, Taj Mahal, swimming pools, not understanding the unintended consequences 10, 20, 30 years down the road when the cost of the infrastructure has gotten so high that you have to pass that cost along to businesses and residents, and all of a sudden now people cannot afford to move to your community. It's the law of unintended consequences that most politicians don't take into effect as they build unnecessary and luxurious infrastructure. And, and you know, George, it's interesting. You, you, you are so forward-thinking and understanding of this. And we have all of these illustrations of government entities, you know, local, you know, and of course statewide, national, that have gone down the road that you're warning against. I mean, the city of Cincinnati is literally falling apart, and they are underwater because they didn't think that there would ever be bad times that would befall Cincinnati. They got themselves dug into a huge hole, and they can't get out of it. Yeah, and, and it's not just Cincinnati. It's so many other communities. And, you know, the, 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 the frustrating part, Brian, is 
the, the people that are spending the money and building the infrastructure really think they're doing good. You know, what a nice, noble thing. Why can't we have better amenities for our citizens? And they just can't understand the unintended consequences. And it's what's going on with our nation right now. We are on a track to socialism, and if we don't turn this ship, it may be too late to save our republic.